From Scarlett Johansson finally talking about her marriage to Ryan Reynolds, to Kerry Washington keeping her relationship with Namdi Asumwa strictly under wraps, here are celebrities you never knew were married. In terms of like sexy, it's like just a rung below like a picture of yourself committing domestic terrorism. Yeah. Like I don't know why <laughs> someone does that. Starting off with a shocker we recently got. It's crazy we never knew Scarlett Johansson and Ryan Reynolds got hitched at some point. You see, after meeting for a year, the Avengers star married the Canadian actor from 2008 to 2011. During their relationship, the stars were known for being very private. They were rarely pictured together, and they didn't talk much in interviews about each other either. But now, in a new interview with Vanity Fair, Johansson talked about her first marriage when she was young and how different different it was from how she sees it now. According to Scarlett, she got married for the first time when she was 23, and she was at an age where she didn't really know what marriage was about. She also admitted she probably built the marriage up in her head a lot of the time. Even though the two didn't turn out to be right for each other, once they realized that though, they announced their split in December of 2010, saying that they still had love and kindness for each other in a joint statement. I think just the accessibility to you know, everything, mm -hmm. museums and culture and, you know, mm -hmm. music and like life all around you. It's, mm -hmm. it's a mess. And hey, Ryan wasn't the only one to find someone after this marriage ended. But when Scarlett found love again, once with French writer Romain Doriac, who she married in 2014, but broke up with three years later. And then with the director Noah Baumbach. You know, in showbiz, it's not uncommon for odd couples to get married and then not work out just a few years later. But what's not nearly as common enough is when two really cute actors from the same TV show decide to tie the knot. Take Adam Brody and Leighton Meester, for example. What a perfect match for a teen show in the early 2000s. But while you were getting older, Gossip Girl actor Leighton Meester and the OC star Adam Brody quietly got married in 2014. Well, she's too little to come here today. She would be like, I don't yeah. get it. Um, but I, I think it's a really, I mean, you know, even for us, like this is the, sort of like something that we're, we're even learning about. Then, a year later, they had their first child, Arlo. I think it's so cute that they still think about their Seth and Blair roles even in their marriage. In fact, Brody even said in 2017 that they both sometimes laugh about it. That once a year, randomly, they'll say something like our Seth and Blair day, especially because those are the roles these guys are so well known for. But while being part of an insanely famous TV show, I can't believe they still managed to keep their wedding very hush-hush. It's evident that the couple was pretty good at keeping their relationship private. They've also talked about how they prefer it that way. I mean, back in 2013, just a few months before their engagement, Meester and Brody had made their romance public. Then, the next month, when Meester was taken on a walk with Brody, she was trying to hide her engagement ring. In the end, they both allegedly got married in a secret ceremony in Northern California in February of 2014. Well, while this fairy tale got its happy ending, you'd also be happy to know that in another part of the world, our dear old Barbara may have also found her Ken. And for Margot Robbie, that's her longtime friend, Tom Ackerley. What's pretty cool about these two is that they've both worked together in business too. In 2014, Margot, Tom, and their friends Josie McNamara and Sophia Kerr started a production company called Lucky Chap Entertainment. Even before that though, Margot met Tom when he was a producer and assistant director on the set of her World War II movie, Sweet Francaise, in 2013. Apparently, it was at this time that they got close. And the next year, they decided to move in together with five other friends who were also working on the movie. That's when Margot's life turned romantic in a way she didn't expect. And the cute part was that Tom felt the same way. You see, the couple never officially announced that they were engaged. But on December 18th, 2016, Margot and Tom got married on a private farm in Corbel, Byron Bay. Plus, the couple didn't go on a honeymoon, which is also probably why we didn't hear much about their wedding ceremonies or anything. Thing. And this was because, at the time, they had to film I, Tanya together. Man, the way these two talk about each other really shows you how compatible they are with each other. But you can't really say the same for some couples that have gone down the aisle in this industry, like Gary Oldman and Uma Thurman. I guess Thurman 
Kardashian has been in a few high-profile relationships over the course of her career, but none were as interesting as her short-lived marriage to the well-known actor Gary Oldman. When Thurman met Oldman in 1989, on the set of the movie State of Grace, she was a rising star. And it was around this time when Oldman, who was 12 years older than Thurman, fell in love with the young actor. At the time, though, he was married to Leslie Manville. They had just had a baby boy a few months before Oldman left Manville for Thurman. But that didn't really stop Oldman from pursuing things further with Thurman. Because in 1990, just a few months after they started dating, Thurman and Oldman got married. They even worked together on the love drama film Henry and June, which made people more interested in Thurman and Oldman as a pair. During their marriage, they went to some red carpet events together, but they were known for being very private and rarely talked about their relationship. In the end, Thurman and Oldman were married for only two years before they got a divorce and went their different ways for good. Both Thurman and Oldman moved on with their lives, though, and never talked about their short marriage. That is, until 1996, when Thurman became more vocal about how her marriage to Oldman was practically a mistake to her. Well, it looks like this couple definitely had a lot of figuring out to do, even while they were married. Um, but as an artist, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Um, but I, I, no, it's, um, it's, I was involved with a play when it was written about a Washington couple and sort of with a bedroom mischief. And while in the past, some other couples have also not been completely sure about their relationships, in Dave Franco and Alison Brie's case, they eventually realized that they were in fact meant for each other. While a lot of other celebrities seem to have met their partners on sets or during events, in Dave and Alison's case, it was their friends who set them up and they had their first real date after a Mardi Gras party in 2011. In 2020, Bree told Jimmy Fallon on his late night show about their first night together. Soon after that, they started dating, and by 2015, they were engaged. They got married in 2017, and they've been happy ever since. Not only in their personal life, but also in their professional one. Bree and Franco have worked together on a lot of projects since, like The Disaster Artist and The Rental, Franco's first film as a director. Seeing how good these two are for each other, other, it's crazy how neither Allison nor Dave wanted to get married before they started dating. But it only took them to find each other to believe in the idea of marriage again. After things were going so smoothly between the two for so long, they officially decided to tie the knot in March of 2017 in a secret wedding. Speaking of secrets, Kerry Washington and Namdi Asumwa. Who knew, huh? Washington is just as good at keeping a secret as her scandal character Olivia Pope. The actor got married to former San Francisco 49ers player Namdi Asumwa in 2013. They are now said to have three children together. When it comes to keeping personal life private, Washington has talked a lot about why she likes to keep her life away from the public eye. In an interview, she even talked about how the best tactic to avoid any suspicions and rumors is to neither deny nor claim anything that's being said about them. Maybe that's why we never really knew when she got married, and practically don't know anything about her marriage life either. I mean, even this year, when when the 46-year-old star talked about her upcoming wedding anniversary, she decided to keep it under wraps. When asked what she and her husband planned to do for the anniversary, she said that their plans would be as secretive as their wedding. And that's all for celebrities you never knew were married.